Today, Russia is the largest country in the world, but it began very small. Historians generally date its origins to the establishment of the Rus state in 862 by the Viking settlers called the Varangians alongside the local Slavic population. It later came to incorporate Kiev. The state adopted Christianity from the neighboring Byzantine Empire, combining Byzantine and Slavic culture. Kiev acquired eminence as the center of the Kievan Rus in the 10th to 12th centuries, but gradually became weaker until its complete destruction during the Mongol invasion of 1237. The Mongol Khan of the Golden Horde also destroyed Moscow and held power for 240 years until Ivan the Great declared Moscow's independence. The so-called Grand Prince of Old Rus multiplied the territory of the Grand Duchy of Moscow and it eventually became known as the Tsardom of Russia in 1547. Ivan IV was the first Tsar of Russia and he annexed the Khanates of Kazan and Astrakhan, making this period one of enormous territorial expansion. Ivan was succeeded by his son Fyodor, who despite his disinterest in ruling, created the Patriarchate of Moscow, which was the start of the independent Russian Orthodox Church. After Fyodor died, however, dissent over who should be his successor, coupled with crop failures and famine, led to a period known as the Time of Troubles. Public discontent and civil war did not stop Russian expansion into Siberia in the 16th century, previously an independent Muslim Khanate made up of indigenous Siberian tribes. In 1609, Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth occupied Russia, causing a patriotic upsurge which led to the Poles being chased out and the boyar Mikhail Romanov being proclaimed Tsar at the age of 16 starting the rule of the Romanov dynasty that would last for three centuries. In 1796, Peter the Great proclaimed the Russian Empire after victory over Sweden, resulting in the end of the Great Northern War and major territorial gains. Well educated and widely traveled, Peter wanted to modernize and westernize Russia. He led the cultural revolution that replaced some of the traditionalist and medieval social and political mores with a more modern, scientific, western-oriented and rationalist system. He built a new capital in St. Petersburg, largely according to western design. Although Russia became a world power, his tax reforms were unpopular because they targeted the poor and exempted the nobility, resulting in riots by angry and hungry peasants. After Peter came a series of weak rulers until Catherine II took power in 1762 in a coup. She presided over a golden age, expanding the state by conquest, colonization and diplomacy, while continuing Peter I's policy of modernization along Western European lines. However, like Peter, she continued to favor the nobility over the lower classes and feudalism remained predominant. There was a brief revolt by Pugachev the Cossack, but he ultimately gave up and was executed. Also, the Decemberist uprising of 1825 demanded a free constitutional Russia, but it was poorly organized and easily repressed. Tsar Alexander II established universal military service, sold Alaska where Russia had claimed territory in 1799 to the US, abolished serfdom and allowed peasants to purchase land in exchange for large compensation. The aristocracy however kept control and Alexander refused to accede to a constitutional government. Across the 17th to 19th centuries, Russia gained control over the Balkans from the Ottoman Empire and Tsar Alexander I successfully repelled Napoleon's advance which marked the beginning of the end of Napoleon's dominance. He succeeded in preserving and expanding Russian territory, but this continued to put pressure on its resources and people. Public discontent kept increasing. Tsar Nicholas II continued to resist calls for constitutional reform at the same time expanding the railways and thereby textile production and heavy industry, causing many peasants to move to the cities and increasing tensions between the poor and the rich. Russia's humiliating loss at the Russo-Japanese War of 1905, famine due to the cold climate, the booming population and the Crimean War, in addition to a growing minority of poor industrial workers, meant many people were very unhappy. 
The emancipation of the serfs had enabled them to organize themselves to take action. In 1905, on what is known as Bloody Sunday, Russian workers striked and hundreds were massacred by the Tsar's soldiers, fanning the flames for the Russian Revolution. Nicholas II formed Dumas to work towards reform, however any progress was disrupted by World War I. The Tsar was kept preoccupied at the front and his wife managed state affairs under the influence of Rasputin. The war was badly managed and the Dumas kept getting dissolved, meaning Russians lost faith in their government. In 1917, the Tsar was forced to abdicate, marking the end of Russian imperial rule that was essentially an absolute monarchy based on orthodoxy, autocracy and nationality. The communist Bolshevik party seized power but they did not create peace. A civil war between the Bolsheviks and the loosely allied force of monarchists and capitalists ensued and the imperial family was executed. The civil war ended when Lenin won and established the Soviet Union, paving the way for communist rule in Russia. Although the Soviet Union collapsed in 1991, modern Russia has long been aspiring to the glory days of the Russian Empire and the Soviet Union.